And my second mission was to Paris. And uh, we would have vomited around 12.30 in there. And uh, so I didn't arm the bombs until we were on the bomb run. And um, I was standing in the bomb bay when, when they dropped the bombs and two of the 500 pounders got stuck crossways in the, the bottom of the bomb bay, top of the doors. So I just took my, I didn't have my parachute on, but I just took my oxygen bottle off and jumped down and kicked them out so they wouldn't fall in the city. And st so uh, that was my second mission. stayed out in the channel for about, oh, maybe a day. The weather was so bad, the waves were so high, we couldn't disembark. I saw a lot more than most 19-year-olds seen in a lifetime. It took me uh, roughly an hour and a half just to get to the uh, sandbar. We dropped in three feet of water. A classic example of the ties that bind these true American heroes can be found among the dwindling number of former Army Rangers who scaled the cliffs of Normandy's Pointe du Hoc on D-Day under withering enemy fire. There were just 225 men who climbed these rugged cliffs on a mission to eliminate enemy artillery positions threatening the invasion beaches at Omaha and Utah. Not many of them made it to the top. Some of them went and gave up, but we kept going south. We didn't want to give up, because we were scared they would shoot us anyway. That's what the word was, they'd kill you. Prima, prima. Okay. It's good, good prima. Good boy is good. Yeah, That's him a good hand. <laughs> you, you made my day. You made my day. Oh, my God, get me the hand, Sachi. We just said, I'm going to hear you. I'm going to hear you. I'm going to hear you. Yes, damn, I'm fine. Thank you. I thank you. So.